Well, I'm actually quite interested to see later on how this video looks. Because um, I'm using the uh, my um, camcorder. Well, I guarantee you the sound's probably going to be a lot better. Um, I'm going to certainly get, I think, a... Um, I'm not a big Bluetooth person, but... Um, even though I'm listening to a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth headphones. Uh, I think I would... Um, like to get maybe a corded um, microphone where I could like keep it around like right near me that would be a lot better um, rather than you know we'll see how it goes anyways I finished off the second army um, I did a before shot so hopefully I can do an after shot and do a before and after maybe I'll um, use it as the um, the whatever thing here <sighs> that being said um, I've just been trying to There's just so many thoughts going, you know, like, I'm like, okay, um, yeah, just trying to use the defensible terrain as much as possible, cluing in that, um, I get despondent or I get depressed or whatever. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's just like everything looks like it's going to fall apart. Um, I think it's because sometimes I'm looking at things and I'm like okay I'm assuming that the Germans or whatever are going to be able to do or find every hole and be able to exploit every hole at once kind of thing and it's like Chris that's not going to happen like that's that can't happen that you know what I mean so uh what I'm trying to I guess clue into it's like limit the options that they have oh my gosh you know what's really nice um Oh, I listened actually to the first CD or whatever it was, and uh, of uh, the uh, the narration of Sun Tzu. There, gosh, it's really they did a really good job. Uh, so I can't. Um, I'm eager to listen to the rest and uh, re-listen. Um, yeah, that's uh, for that bit anyway. So I've been just withdrawing quite a bit of the troops. Uh, this one was a tricky one. I'm still going to try to keep, well, we withdrew a little bit. I'm just trying to use the defensible terrain wherever I can, but I can't, I don't want to get the, get, allow them to get uh, too close, um, you know, to being able to do things. Uh, they're, they're really far away. It's weird, eh? In an odd way, I feel like they've almost um, uh, did me a favor with this giant salient that we used to have. Now it's, you know, it's been deflated and um, I can concentrate. Now they have to deal with the logistical issues come spring because they can't use all this rail except for, uh, well, up to here and uh, to here. All that other stuff, it's even here. It's all useless to them. So, which is great. Yeah, I've just, so I'm just falling back. I, I, I'm really surprised. I thought I was going to go a mile a minute here with the chit chat, but I, I guess I'm not. Um, good. Well, I'm also listening to some pretty mellow music. I was listening to some pretty high test stuff beforehand, but I think that sucked a lot of energy out of me, which is good. I have to focus on tomorrow. That being said, um, so now we're off to the first army here, and I think this is going to be interesting to see how I can deal with, um, knowing that I don't want to give up territory, and, but I can't get into trouble. And I know there's, uh, there's a lot of hurt. They've got a lot of supply and a lot of um, troops. Holy smokes, man! Um, the amount of like on the back, on just on the backwards um, stuff that I've been reading up and uh, watching about trench raids and uh, intelligence gathering along the front line and so on and so forth and um, just a oh my god. Um, I, I don't know if any of that stuff um, gets represented. Oh, I wouldn't be represented at this scale. But um, I don't know if any of that stuff gets represented. But it um, would be fascinating to know. I will say this, though, for the production cost chart. Um, we're, okay, I'm just going to... I can't talk... Well, I can't talk about it. I'm going to say this. If you're playing the Russians... Um, and you're focus, focus on the demoralization and you think you can maybe use your other, uh, the other allies to cause some grief. Um, a, a good thing, oh, okay, 
I'm just going to say this, because of the non-aggression pact with the, the Ottomans, there's no bloody way in hell I can see the Russians ever losing on the battlefield anymore. Um, we're at 315 demoralization points. So at 600, uh, shaken morale is going to kick in. Uh, national morale will kick in and, and the Russians will no longer be allowed to um, do any unsupplied attacks. I don't care. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I really don't care anymore. Uh, it's disgusting to say, but when I took a look at the production cost chart here, and you can see I don't know if you can. So I'm like, uh, yeah, actually I can go this way. So take a look at the infantry units. It's two production points per strength point, two manpower points per strength point, and takes six months to produce. Okie dokie. Take a look down, go down to the uh, replacement units, which is only one production point per strength point, two manpower points per strength point, and three, but only two for Russia. So let's, as long as I don't have divisions obliterated, I can replace the infantry strength points via replacement points, all right, three times quicker and in ins and half the and half the amount uh, in production points. So let's say I wanted to make twenty divisions uh, from scratch of like five four divisions. Let's say that's going to cost two hundred production points and two hundred manpower points and take me six months. Or I can uh, make a hundred uh, replacement points and it's going to cost me. Um, over here, a hundred production points and uh, two hundred manpower points, and only take me two months. Get the get the idea. So I'm starting to think like, screw this. I'm not going to start uh, uh, focusing as the Russians on its. Well, maybe it's hit the historical thing. I'm not focusing on all kinds of uh, uh, really extravagant whatever. So I'm just going to keep on pumping out replacement uh, units as much as I can, and uh, replacing. Um, as long as my infantry divisions and whatnot don't get obliterated and I can keep continue replacing them via recombination, uh, I've, I've got this in the bag as the Russian player as far as I'm concerned. That being said, I still want to get into the reconnaissance um, um, aspect and air superiority and all those. There's other aspects that are going to bleed uh, the Russian um, production points and whatnot away, uh, like, you know, to use up supply or whatever. Um, so I'm good with that. I'm still good with that. They also have the, a bazillion other constraints. It's not like it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy for the Russians. Um, but when I saw that, I went, wait a flipping minute. I can make, I can, as long as I don't like get things crushed, I can just, um, it, it causes a little bit more of a logistical headache. <laughs> Fine by me. And, uh, but I mean, you know, three times quicker, I can reply. You see where I'm going with this? Um, when you get into the, the land of attrition, as far as I'm concerned, as I can start seeing the Russians being able to do some really amazing things with replacement points uh, against the other bits. So, and like I said, in combination, if, uh, the non-aggression pact continues on with the Ottomans. Uh, they basically essentially only have one uh, conflict zone to deal with, really. Uh, you know, unless I start to expand in the naval land and all that other stuff. But thumbs up, man. It's it's going well for these guys, really, really well. All right, now off to uh, Rendon Camp in the First Army. Hope you're having a great time, man. See ya.